Welcome to School Report, a glimpse into the classrooms of St. Lucie County Public Schools. School Report provides the opportunity to share with the community academic and extracurricular activities of students in our schools. And now, here is School Report. I want to thank all of our dads, grandpas, uncles, big brothers, parents who serve both roles in the home, and other male role models that have joined us today. We are extremely excited to honor you as we join the state of Florida and St. Lucie Public Schools in Dads Take Your Child to School Day. We ask that you stay involved. We encourage you to make this a movement, not a moment. Being involved is important because research has shown that when a father or a male role model takes an active role in the educational and social development of a child, the child earns better grades. They have better test scores. They enjoy school more. And it is more likely that they will graduate and attend college. Our welcome mat is out, and we invite you to be involved members of our school community. Palm Point offers parent workshops, PTO events, grade level activities, as well as other activities such as book fair and our holiday shop. Please join us. It would mean the world to your children. Each of you has received our magnificent male role model pen this morning and the pledge that we will sign together later that shows your support in your child's education. At this time, Mrs. Kuba is going to recognize the wonderful Palm Point men that have joined us on stage to read the proclamation. Good morning. I just want to take a minute to recognize our Palm Point male role models that are on stage and those that may be in the audience. They spend their day not only teaching our students the required curriculum, but also showing all of our students and modeling to them how men should act and communicate. We're lucky to have each of these men on our staff. So if men, you could please stand. Help me by giving all of our men a conference and big round of applause. We stand together this morning to make the following proclamation. Whereas education has become a matter of national security and whereas public schools are the backbone of our democracy, providing young people with the tools they need to maintain our nation's precious values of freedom, civility, and equality, and whereas family involvement in a child's learning is critical to student success from preschool through college and sets the foundation for preparing Florida students to be lifelong learners and meaningful contributors to society. And whereas research has indicates there is a correlation between the level of a father's involvement in their children's education and the children's academic success. And whereas Research further indicates that children whose fathers take active roles in their educational lives earn better grades, score higher in tests, and enjoy school more and more likely to graduate from high school and attend college. And Whereas Florida's educational leaders are providing opportunities for fathers to engage more fully in their child's education and strengthen the connection between fathers and schools. And whereas it is appropriate to recognize the critical contributions made by fathers who foster a love of learning in their children and by educators who acknowledge the importance of family engagement and encourage participation by fathers as an integral part of the mission of all schools. 
Whereas fathers, grandfathers, uncles, big brothers, significant male caregivers, mentors, and friends are all encouraged to participate in the Dads Take Your Child to School Day. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the School Board of St. Lucie County, Florida, joins with the Florida Department of Education to hereby proclaim Wednesday, September 28, 2016, as Dads Take Your Child to School Day, and calls upon all citizens to observe this day by taking time to recognize and acknowledge the importance of male influence on educational success. And with this whereof, the chairman and superintendent have set their hand and seal this 28th day of September 2016. Thank you, gentlemen. I have the honor of introducing to you our guest speaker for today his youngest daughter's down there. Mr. John Keeler is our new assistant principal here at Palm Point, and I am so glad that he has joined our team. Mr. Keeler grew up in Palm Beach. He received both his undergraduate and master's degree from Florida Atlantic University. He has been in education for 15 years and has taught grades three, five, and technology. He worked for the past seven years as the assistant principal of St. Lucie West K-8, and we are lucky to have him join us this year as one of our assistant principals. Mr. Keeler has many accomplishments. He's very proud of them over his years in education. He has touched the lives of countless students. He is an excellent role model to our Rockets here each day. But today, he is here to celebrate and share what is most likely his greatest accomplishment, being a dad. Mr. Keeler and his wife have three children. One of them is a Palm Point Rocket, and she is here with us today. Please welcome Mr. Keeler. So I've been lucky enough to be a role model for all these students, but my greatest accomplishment is to be a role model for my daughters. So what I decided to do is to go through my life and show my role models and how you can affect your child's life. Fathers. Fathers are a great role model. My father's no different than anybody else. He was a role model for me. I looked up to him. I saw what he did and tried doing it. One thing that happened to me, though, is in my eighth grade year, my parents got divorced. So my father became that every other weekend and Sunday father. I could talk to him throughout the week, but he wasn't there every day, sometimes when I needed him. He is a great person and has influenced my life. He taught me that education is the most valuable thing I will ever have. And I'll never forget the one quote he gave me when I was in high school. He's like, you know what? You can go and do whatever you want. If you want to go out and dig ditches, that's fine with me, but you're going to do it with a college education. And so that's drive me to go further and get my college education. The next two role models in my life that have been really tremendous is my two grandfathers. The gentleman on the left in the suit, he's the hardest working man I've ever known. And he taught me how to be a hard worker. And without his role model, without his tutelage in my life, I wouldn't be where I am today. My other grandfather to the right, 
He taught me the same hardworking philosophy as him, but he also taught me my passion for sports. And that got me into sports and got me out of some trouble by being on sports teams and showing good sportsmanship and how to overcome diversity. So both of those men, like yourselves and grandfathers out there, were very instrumental in being who I am today. So please don't feel that just because you're not a father, you're not going to impact anybody's life. These two men impacted my life more than I could ever tell them. Next, stepfathers. Stepfather is a really hard role. That's my stepfather there, and let me tell you, I gave him a run for his money in high school. I feel so bad for him, thinking back of all the things I said and all the things, I did, but he had a tough job. He was coming into a house with three children, me being the oldest, and he was just trying to be a role model in my life. He wasn't trying to take the place of my father. He never said, call me dad and, or anything bad about my father, but I didn't want to hear anything he had to say at the time. Since then, once I became an adult, turned 18, moved out, we have a wonderful relationship. And he still teaches me things today. He teaches me things like kindness, how to finance money, and just how to overall be a generally great role model to his two granddaughters that he has here today. Then all the single parents that are out there, mothers or fathers, you have the toughest role. You have to play both roles. You have to be a mother of your dad and a father. And to the moms, you have to be the mother, and guess what, you also have to be a father. Sometimes it doesn't always work out right because you might not know how to do some father things. But my mother, she bent over backwards to give myself and my brother and sister the great life that we have, and just to be that person that I could always depend on. And once again, I gave her the toughest time as a teenager. Man, I was horrible, to say the least. I was not the ideal teenager. I had a lot going on. I didn't have my parents together. You know, my mom did everything in her power, and I thank her for that, and today, I thank her all the time. And a couple years ago, I said, man, mom, I don't know how you did it. I don't know how you survived all those years of me being that way. And she says, I had to. I loved you, and that's all that matters. So my role as a father, I have three daughters. My oldest one is there on the left holding my youngest one, and then my other two daughters on the right. My oldest daughter comes from a divorced family. Me and, her wife, me and her mom, we divorced at the age of one. But I guaranteed her, and I promised to myself that I'm going to stay around for her anytime she needed me, anytime I'd be there. And trust me, those middle school years, I was getting calls at 8 o'clock at night to come over. Dad, I can't go to school tomorrow. I want to get out of this school. Talk to her. Why do you want to get out of school? You know what's going on? I don't like the colors. The colors are wrong. Well, it wasn't the colors that were wrong, it was they were expect expecting to do harder work. And therefore, I had to be the dad say, you're going back there. She's in college now, she's a junior at UCF. She's studying to get a degree in web design. She calls me up, we talk about college classes. She still doesn't like everything I have to say to her, but that's my job as a father, to try to direct her down the right path. She is an adult, so she'll choose her own path, but in the end, I hopefully had an influence on her. My two youngest daughters, I have a second grade here at Palm Point, and I'm so proud of her. The accomplishments she's done just this little time amazes me more and more every day. Whether it's in the classroom, with her academics, outside the classroom, on the soccer field, making new friends, being good sportsmanship, or helping my wife at home with her little sister that just turned one. She is ideally the typical child, but also advanced at the responsibilities of an adult. I also have my youngest daughter, who is one here. She amazes me every day because she looks up and says hi to me. Just like that. I could say no to her, and guess what? She smiles at me and says hi. She wakes me up in the morning at 6 o'clock, and I'm not mad because it's not the alarm clock. It's a hand smacking me across the face, saying hi. She knows three words, and that's the one of them right there that she uses all the time. And then my beautiful wife, who tells me every day, you know what? You're making an impact in your daughter's life. You're the role model that they have, that one day they're going to grow up and hopefully they find a husband that can be a father just like you. Because I don't see that. My job is to do the best I can at providing them what they need, to give them guidance in their education, the outside world, to teach them things, to show them the world. And then my wife reaffirms that I'm doing a great job. And the number one thing that I always ask Sadie, my daughter here, at least once a week, am I doing a good job as a father? because she's my toughest critic. She's gonna let me know when I'm not, and she says, Daddy, you do a great job every time. And that means the world to me because 
is coming from someone that it matters the most. So please know that you are a role model, that you are part of these children's lives. Whether you are a father, a grandfather, a stepfather, family friend, uncle, whoever you are, these children look up to you, and you are very important to them. So thank you this morning for coming out. The goal of this event, as Ms. Perez said, is that this is not a moment in time, but this is going to be a movement. And I'd like to leave you with a poem that I received four years ago from my daughter when she was in VPK. And I have this in my office every day. And I read it probably at least once a month. And it just melts my heart every time I see it. So I'm going to read it aloud to you as I close up. And it says, walk a little slower, Daddy. Walk a little slower, Daddy, said a child so small. I'm following your footsteps, and I don't want to fall. Sometimes your steps are very fast, sometimes they're hard to see. So walk a little slower, Daddy, for you are leading me. Someday when I'm all grown up, you're what I want to be. Then I will have a little child who will want to follow me. And I would want to lead just right and know how tr I was true. So walk a little slower, Daddy, for I must follow you. These words ring out to me every day, and I hope they ring out to you. Thank you again for being a role model in every children's life, and thank you for coming out today. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce Ms. Wright, and she will continue the presentation for our students. Thank you, Mr. Peel. Um, good morning, Dan and families. Welcome. We are the Palm Point Players. I am Mrs. Wright, and I have the pleasure of working with your children every day. Um, Mrs. Larson and I um, welcome you, and we would love you to learn to grow with us. Good morning and welcome. We are honored to have you here today and want to thank you for being part of our learning. Whether you help with homework or studying, attend school events, teach us new skills and hobbies, or cheer us on through our success and struggles, we truly appreciate your role in our learning. We've been talking a lot this year about growth mindset. This means to keep working when things are hard. Be open to new challenges and push our learning further than we think we can. In honor of today, as part of our growth mindset, we work together to improvise a few scenes about fathers and education. We hope you enjoy. Our first scene proves that even parents can have a growth mindset.
We do. What's for dinner? Hi, honey. Wings and fries. Hi, Dad. Do you work tomorrow? Yes. Really? Someone has to pay the bills around here. She goes, well, can you help me with my lesson? Yes, of course. Thank you, Dad. I love the way you help me.
Let's give another round of applause to our talented Palm Point players and one of the students. Thank you. In just a moment, we will be reviewing and quarterly reading the Dad's Take Your Child to School Day Pledge together. You will need the pledge paper and pen that you received when you entered the auditorium this morning. Now, all male role models, please join us in the reading of the pledge. We'll go line by line. Ready? Here we go. As a father, stepfather, grandfather, uncle, brother, foster father, or significant male Rob, male role model, I pledge to support my child's teacher and school in providing a quality education and ensuring that education remains a priority in my household. Set high expectations for my child's educational success. Stay informed about my child's academic and behavioral progress. Volunteer at my child's school this school year when possible and encourage my child to do his or her best every day. Thank you so much. At the conclusion of this ceremony, we will be collecting one of the pledge copies. Please sign the bottom as you exit the auditorium door. Thank you very much, Mrs. Tony. And just so you know, our NGHS students are going to be standing at the door as we exit. They're going to be at these side doors, and they're going to collect your pledge for you. At this time, we're going to ask all our guests on stage to follow me out for our parade route. Mr. Keeler and his daughter and family will lead the parade. We are asking our audience to follow, but before we do, boys and girls in the audience, your dad, grandpa, male role model brought you this morning, please turn and thank them and give them a big hug for everything they do each and every day. Outside the door this morning, you are going to be greeted by our fabulous band under the direction of Mr. Jason Hatfield, another male role model on our campus. The rest of the staff and our moms are standing on the sidelines cheering for our dads. After this short parade, our program is concluded and our students will proceed to class. Thank you again for coming to Dads Take Your Child to School Day. Mr. Keeler is going to lead the parade with his family at this time. And then I'm going to ask the gentleman on the stage to follow. Dads, grandpas, male role models, we're going to have you follow behind. So at this time, we're going to begin that parade route. Thank you so much for coming today.